corn's a lovely crop to grow. Um, it's really vigorous, you can see what it's doing. It's a recipe crop, so if you get the recipe right, you know it's reliable. As well as that, it's a growing market. Going back four or five years ago, the market for corn was the feed market. Simple, easy, dairy farmers, beef guys, but now it's just grown like we got the popcorn market. We, we, we're getting into the gritting market in the feed area. There's the chicken guys, the egg guys, the pork guys. I've even got a couple of breweries now that, that are looking for, for supply. Corn in the States is a king crop and there's a lot of research done on cultivars. We're a GM free status here with corn in Australia, but we're still getting some of the traits that are coming through. This is Pioneer 1467. It's a traditional Feed variety corn, probably one of the better yielding varieties on the market. Great cob size, good grain fill, nice square cob. Got to get it in early though. Um, we aim to get this sort of thing in the uh, middle of October, 15th, 20th of October. And that then gives us time at the end of the season to dry it down. So we're harvesting with fairly low levels of moisture. 1467 is probably one of the king of the yield. It does 15, 16 tonnes. There's good money in corn. Yeah, it's a good crop to grow. To achieve these sorts of yields, you, you've got to put on, of the order of 300 kilograms of um, nitrogen equivalent per hectare per year. I pre-rip and I put uh, a nitrogen mix in there. I follow that up again with a side dressing and a seed pop-up. And then through the irrigation season, I water run urea mix. Three varieties of popcorn, but these ones are 100 days. The advantage with popcorn is that it's got a really quick dry down. So we can plant a little bit later and still harvest early, which enables us to get a winter crop in. Then I've got a feed corn, which is 99 days. That's a new pioneer variety called 9911, and that's got some really, really good attributes. I planted that into a canola stubble, so it was planted late and I'll harvest it late. I've got 400 acres under subsurface drip irrigation, 65 hectares under centre pivot, and then I've also got uh, about 80 hectares that I grow under flood irrigation. My program for the flood irrigation, I, I aim for three crops over two years, so it'll go early corn, come off early, then it'll go into canola, canola will come off late, then it'll go late corn, and that corn will stand over winter and be harvested in the spring and then it will go back to early corn. So that's the, the program with flood. If I went back uh, 20 years, we'd, we'd be planting at 72,000 seeds a hectare. We're now planting at sort of 90 to 95,000, um, aiming to sort of get that 85 out of the ground. But predominantly it's, it's plant strength and yield and yeah, standability. We definitely don't want corn to lodge over the winter. We'll look at the size of it, you know, three metres high, it, it does that in probably 60 or 70 days over two months. So I can come out here each day and I can see a plant come out of the ground with two leaves. I can see it again a, a fortnight later. It's knee high, it's waist high, it's over my head, and then it grows these magnificent things. So yeah, it's a great crop to grow.